Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of matrices. And we are continuing our series of questions on JWE Advanced. So today's question, we have taken this up from the year 2011. And if I talk about the question here, which is given to us, it is telling that M is a three by three matrix. And that M, which is a matrix, it satisfies three conditions which are given to us. The first condition given is that matrix M, when multiplied with the element 0, 1, 0, gives you the answer as minus 1, 2, and 3. The other condition which is given to us here says that same matrix M multiplied with 1, minus 1, 0, gives you the answer as 1, 1, and minus 1. And the third condition tells us M, that same matrix again multiplied with 1, 1, 1, gives us the answer as 0, 0, and 1. So these are the three conditions given to us. And then we have been asked to find some of the diagonal elements of this same matrix M. And there are four options given to us here. The first option given to us is 2. Second option given to us is 5, third option is 7, and the last option given to us is 9. So these are the four options given to us. Let's solve this and let's try to find the sum of the diagonal entries of this matrix M. So let's try to solve this first and check out which of the following options are correct. So M, when it is a 3 by 3 matrix that is given to us, we know there are three rows and three columns. So in all, you have nine elements here. So if I keep my nine elements as, let's say, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, H, I. So let's say these are my nine elements of the matrix M, which is a three by three matrix. I need to find the sum of the diagonal elements of this matrix M. And the diagonal elements, if you see here, they are A, E, and I. So I just need to find the sum of A, E, and I here. Let's understand how do we solve this. So first condition, if I write it down, it's told to me that a matrix M is there with the element 0, 1, 0. And the answers for that is given to us as minus 1, 2, 3. So if I solve this, I know already that matrix M is A, B, C, E, E, F, G, H, I. If I multiply that with 0, 1, 0, that is equal to minus 1, 2, and 3. So if I solve this matrix, if I multiply it, I get this A into 0 plus B into 1 plus C into 0. So that is B. D into 0 plus E into 1 plus F into 0, that is E. G into 0, I into 0 is also 0. Only H into 1, which is H. That is equal to minus 1. So direct comparison gives me three values here that B is minus 1, E is 2, and H is 3. So till now, we have to find A, E, and I. I have got E here. That is 2. Let's figure out A and I as well. So if I use this next condition, now my matrix M changes to A, C, B, F, G, I and I got my middle terms that were B, E, and H as minus 1, 2, and 3. So this is my new matrix M now. Now if I use the second condition, that tells me minus 1, say 1, minus 1, and 0 is equal to 1, 1, and minus 1. So if I write that, M into 1, 1, minus 1 is equal to 1 minus 1 and 0. So 1 minus 1 and 0. That is equal to 1, 1 and minus 1. So if I write my matrix M again, it was A minus 1 C D 2 F 
and we had the last zero as g three i one minus one zero is equal to one one. If I again multiply the two matrices, a into one a minus one into minus one plus one, and c into zero is zero. So again, d into one is d, two into minus one is minus two, g into one is g, three into minus one is minus three. F into zero and I into zero is zero, so we do not write that. That is equal to one one minus one. If you again correlate this, you get B plus one is equal to one. That gives you A is one minus one zero. D minus two, you get it as one, so D becomes two plus one three. Last thing you get G minus three is minus one, so G becomes three minus one. That is two. So you again get three more elements, and now your new matrix M becomes. Here we had minus one, two, three, C, F, I. We still don't know. And A, D, G. We have already got it. So that's that class you see. So this is your new matrix M. Now out of A, E, and I, we have got A as well. That is zero. We just need to now figure out the value of I. So let's solve the third equation also. Third equation. It's telling us. M into one 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 is equal to zero zero twelve. So if I write that matrix M now, zero minus one C. Then you have three two F, and you have two three I. Multiplied with one 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 is equal to zero zero twelve. So if I solve this again, you get this matrix becoming. One into zero, so zero minus one into one minus one plus c. Here you have three into one three, two into one two, so three plus two five, five plus f, two into one two plus three into one three, so again five plus i. That is equal to zero. Now we don't need to figure out and equate to c and f because we already now have those. We don't need those values. We only need i here. So if I just equate i to get the value here, I get i as one minus five times. So I get the value of i also here, and I just need to find the sum of diagonal elements of this matrix M. And if I just add this diagonal elements, that is zero plus two plus seven, that gives me the answer turning out to be two. So I get that sum of the diagonal elements of the matrix M. Was asked to us that comes out to be as nine. So from here, I understand that option D is the correct answer for the question which is given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. So this question was just dealing with the multiplication of matrices, and then it just equated the elements of matrices to get the values of that unknown element. Of the matrix M, which was a three by three matrix, so we just got the values of the diagonal elements. We just added them, and once we added them, we got that D is the correct answer for the question which was asked to us. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic, and we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE advanced. So please stay tuned. Also, do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends who are also involved in this preparation of JWE Advanced, so they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving. Thank you.